Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfat. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Safriya Palace the Saudi Minister of Transport, Dr. Nabil bin Mohammed Al Amoudi, at the President of the Saudi Railways Organization, Dr. Rumeh bin Mohammed Al Rumeh, to agree to His Majesty the King. The guests conveyed to His Majesty the greetings of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abd Aziz Al Saud of Saudi Arabia, and the Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defense, Prince Mohammed bin Salman Al Saud. His Majesty the King welcomed the Saudi Minister and asked him to convey his greetings to the custodian of the two holy mosques and the crown prince and his wishes of development for Saudi Arabia. His Majesty expressed pride in the deep rooted brotherly relations between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia and the advanced level of bilateral ties, especially in joint transport projects. His Majesty the King hailed the honorable stances of the custodian of the two holy mosques and his efforts in solidifying Bahraini Saudi relations and in serving the causes of the Arab and Islamic nations. He commended Saudi. Arabia's development during the era of the custodian of the two holy mosques. His Majesty affirmed the importance of exchanging visits for their role in strengthening joint coordination in the field of transportation, noting the continuous initiatives and efforts to provide the best services to travelers through King Fahad Causeway and to ensure a smooth flow of traffic, import and export. His Majesty added that the brotherly ties between the two countries have extended through a joint history that is based on communication and cohesion. For his part, the Minister of Transportation expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his keenness on developing bilateral relations in all fields, wishing Bahrain further prosperity under the leadership of His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Rafah Palace the Saudi Minister of Transport Dr. Nabil bin Mohammed Al Amoudi, who conveyed to His Royal Highness the greetings of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud of Saudi Arabia, and the Crown Prince, the Prince Mohammed bin Salman Al Saud, and their wishes of further advancement and prosperity to Bahrain and its people. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister asked the Saudi Minister to convey his greetings and wishes of abundant health and happiness to the custodian of the two holy mosques mosques and the crown prince and his wishes of development for Saudi Arabia. His Royal Highness affirmed that the causeway connecting Bahrain and Saudi Arabia facilitates transportation between the two countries, noting that they share a common history, relations, ties and continuous work for the benefit of the two nations' people. He added that Saudi Arabia's achievements in the transportation field under the leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques are a remarkable success, especially in Mecca and Medina. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister hailed the visit, which reflects the deep-rooted historic relations between the two countries in various fields, asserting the importance of increasing meetings between officials in the two countries for their importance in strengthening cooperation and joint coordination. He commended the efforts of Saudi Arabia, led by the custodian of the two holy mosques, in achieving Arab and Gulf integration and maintaining regional security and stability. For his part, the Saudi Minister of Transport expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his support to bilateral cooperation, noting His Royal Highness's vision and efforts to enhance Arab and Gulf Joint Work March, praising Bahrain's development and growth.
Prince Royal Highness Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today received the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia's Minister of Transport Dr. Nabil bin Mohammed Al Amoudi at Qadibia Palace. Bahrain's Minister of Transportation and Telecommunications Kamal bin Ahmed Mohammed, the President of the Saudi Railways Organization Dr. Rameh Mohammed Al Rameh, and other Saudi representatives from the logistics and transportation sectors attended the meeting. His Royal Highness highlighted the long standing ties between the kingdoms of Bahrain and Saudi Arabia which are underpinned by a joint commitment to advance collaboration at all levels. The Crown Prince noted that the King Hamad Causeway is emblematic of the historic partnership between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia and added that the Gulf Railway project represents a new step forward in advancing shared economic and strategic interests. He went on to emphasize the important role the logistics and transportation sectors play in advancing sustainable development and connectivity in both countries. His Royal Highness noted that the substantial Substantial number of ongoing development projects across the region reflect the role that infrastructure and logistical advancements can have in further improving living standards and public services for citizens. His Majesty the King's Representative for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council of Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Olympic Committee and leader of the Royal Endurance Team, Mizana Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, asserted that the cancelled North Carolina World Equestrian Games are not to be considered a championship. His Highness noted that what happened during the championship was the first in the history of World Games, causing injustice to several teams and riders that spent a lot of money and effort. His Highness expressed his dissatisfaction of what's happened in the championship and that the decision taken by the committee to relaunch it again is unfair. Organizational errors continued during the World Equestrian Games that was hosted by the state of North Carolina until it was cancelled because of fears that riders and their horses can be exposed to any dangers caused by the members of the jury split decisions. Meanwhile, all participating teams issued a protest to the International Equestrian Federation as the World Games disappointed all the riders and the teams who joined the the championship from all over the world for competition and achieving records. All riders were asked to return to the village during the third round of the competition, expressing their deep dissatisfaction with the decision of the organizing committee. The Minister of Works and Social Development, Jamil bin Mohammed Ali Hamidan, met with the President of the Kailash Satyarthi Children's Foundation and Nobel Peace Prize laureate Kailash Satyarthi. The Minister expressed appreciation for choosing the Kingdom of Bahrain as one of the destinations to review its efforts in the field of sustainable development. Hamidan reviewed the government's efforts in the field of social care, hailing the efforts of His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, and also reviewed Bahrain's achievements in children's rights. He noted that Bahrain is one of the leading leading countries in issuing decrees on children's rights as a result of the support it receives from the government. Satyarthi visited the ministry's child care center and inspected the child protection center and was briefed on the importance of the center which provides children with the necessary protection from all forms of abuse and negligence. He also visited Vatilko's child care home and was briefed on the services the center provides. He expressed appreciation of the Bahraini government's efforts in promoting children's Affairs. He also praised the distinguished developmental services offered by these projects in sustainable intellectual and scientific environments. I am very impressed by the way the government and society uh, here is taking care of their children. I have been to this one-stop center where the complaints of uh, abused children are recorded and reported and then analyzed properly. Um, how the social workers, psychologists, doctors, police uh, work hand in hand. So it, it's very professional as well as uh, the people were very passionate, very involved. So that is, that is impressing. In a short time, uh, Bahrain has been able to achieve a lot in terms of education. And more importantly, the issue of um, girls' education. Um, it's amazing to see that in a short span of time, the kingdom has been able to uh, make education free and compulsory, uh, not only for boys, but also for girls. And that is now visible. The result is visible. Everywhere one can see uh, the women are working and they feel safe while working. They are uh, engaged in the, in the nation-building activities. So that is possible because of 
uh, education. The University of Bahrain's new Students' Induction Day is an annual event organized to help them understand the academic programs and study plans, the university's rules and regulations, and the various social and educational services and activities provided by the university, paving their way for a new smooth journey. More in this report. As the national university, the University of Bahrain has a mandate to lead the nation in terms of human capital development, leading innovation, contributing to economic development and leading society. Today starts the induction process, drawing the path for a bright future for the new batch of ambitious students. We are putting a lot of pressure to prepare our students for the labor market. As you know, the labor market is changing very, very fast and we need to keep pace with it. And we cannot do that unless the students are really uh, able to, to really compete with each other and with different programs, not only locally but also internationally. And therefore, uh, there are a lot of challenges and the students need to be really prepared for these kind of challenges and get ready for the future. Since university life is completely different than school, with much more requirements, self-discipline and independence, academic representatives, the student union and even extracurricular activities club members, we are there to support the new students and answer all their inquiries. Help the newcomers or the students and guide them for their educational life which they are approaching to. Uh, basically, I know it is not easy and it will not be easy at first, but the first steps are always important. You can ask and we are always here to help the student council and we will guide you with the procedures, rules and regulation of, this, uh, of the university. Member and chess club uh, community and uh, I participated uh, three years ago in, the, in this club and it enhanced our uh, abilities and critical think thinking. We are here to help people uh, to understand their college life because college life is different from school life and we are uh, we are helping people to participate in the students uh, activities uh, and my my goal is to share my experience to other students on this special day the students are full of enthusiasm and dreams my first goal is to people know more about english because Knowing more than one language makes the, the world even open to each other. And after finishing the, like, the four years of studying here, I really hope I'll be an English teacher. High quality and skilled workforce in the next generation of leaders is a must to support Bahrain in its development march. And all of this starts by education. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Heba Abdul Ghaffar.